Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Chris. This is PNWRC Madness, and um, yeah, it's my YouTube channel. So it's not the greatest, but um, anyways, I just like to share what I'm doing. So, anyways, again, I got a real passion for the hobby. So, um, Real quick, I don't want to make this a super boring video, but I definitely want to show you what's going on and what happened in my experiences and why I'm doing this. Um, try to make it like maybe five minutes. So let's go. All right, guys. So to start off the video, um, first, uh, subscribe. Yep. You can click the little button down there and just subscribe. Helps me out. Well, it's, uh, anyways, subscribe. So what I wanted to show you guys, what I want to show you is the shocks. I don't believe I have any of the packaging anymore. Um, but these are the G-Made XD93s, okay? Aeration shocks. And I chose those because they are more tunable um, for race suited applications, which this is um, my race truck now. So I'm trying to, Go top speed, high speed, as fast as I can get it. I'm just gonna go through the systems, and right now I got a small system in here, but anyways. So, guys, I got the shocks, ordered them, came in pretty, fairly fast. Um, I'll just tell you a few things um, that I, I do like and I don't like about the shocks. It's mainly about the shocks. So, uh, the little plastic, um, I forget what you call it, goes right there on the shock cap. It is super, super loose. So I just used some O-rings out of my stock Losi shocks um, when I rebuilt them. O-rings. I just used these little O-rings right here and uh, a washer um, right behind the screw head. So I also polished the shafts. Uh, with some others polish they actually feel pretty smooth um, I'm actually pretty impressed but they are stiff going for stiff and the springs fairly stiff so I got three of the shocks built <clears throat> truck has just been sitting here um, on its own weight on the suspension and I see no leaks, so what I did was I just used some uh, some Teflon tape, plumber's tape, and under the cap, and I also used it on this uh, the bottom cartridge piece, and uh, it didn't leak. But as you can see here, all right. So as you can see here, I got one that's not even on the truck, and I got this package. Shock cartridge parts tree, okay? Yep, it's kind of embarrassing, but I got it. First off, um, these are the trail links. I have the shocks mounted too, real quick. You can find them on my website. Actually, I'm a trail dealer, this is my, not my website. I am um, www.pnwrcmadness.com. I offer free shipping anywhere in the United States. Everything sells for MSRP. I have tools, ramps, um, and some merch. <laughs> you wanna call it merch? And, um, yeah, mostly trail parts for your LMT. So I'm getting off track. All right, so back to the shocks. So when I was putting them together, um, you put them together from the bottom side, you insert this. It's not like your typical, you insert the through the top. You don't insert, you don't insert the shaft through the top. You have to build it through the bottom. So real quick shout out to my team. Uh, Cal RC, um, part of the factory Cal RC um, RC team, and I used my Utter Butter, which is amazing stuff, um, waterproof as well, guys, um, to seal up the O rings. So I built them with Utter Butter grease and my handy dandy Cal mats, magnetic by the way. Um, Anyways, the whole situation of uh, rubber mm, O-rings and other parts are in there. 
But this cost me another seven dollars plus shipping. I'm not happy. It's like twelve bucks. There's a piece right there, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's called the shock cartridge car, shock cartridge C clip. Okay. And that bad boy goes on right there. It slips on right there. And if you don't have it on, you can't put something else there either because your shocks will leak. And that's how I found out is because the shock leaked. So after I finished cleaning up the shock oil from the shock leak, I opened it up and I figured that that was the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in there and then we're gonna, I'm using 30 weight, kind of stiff front and rear. Just gonna try it out. I'm using the two by, comes with four pistons. I'm using the two by one point, I don't know. To be honest, I just went with the more uh, resistant uh, piston just to be uh, more firm all around. And also that's why the trillings are on the truck now because it's stiffened up the truck quite a bit. So I'm not sure if I made a video on that, but maybe I do. So anyways, let's go ahead and, uh, all right, so what I like to do is I just like to hold down on the shaft Oh, and pull it down slowly as it goes goes in. It doesn't really matter because the truck's just going to sit here, but feel it all the way, almost to the top. Go ahead and run your piston up and down a few times. There come the air bubbles. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill it, top it off, and I'm going to let it sit for five minutes. So we can bleed it with the least amount of air bubbles. All right, so the shock is sat, put some shock oil. The shock is sat for five minutes. We put some shock oil in the cap. Oop, oop. All right, guys, the shock has sat for five minutes. We put some oil in the cap. So we'll go ahead and screw it on. What I like to do is hold the, the cap at a 45 degree angle. Go ahead and snug that down and put the uh, air screw in there. Oh, sorry, missed a step. So we'll go ahead and snug the, go ahead and snug the cap down. And then you're gonna come out. Go ahead and just rub that off with your rag. There we go. Go ahead and put the screw back in the cap. You're good to go. All right, guys, so camera's dying, so I gotta make this fast. If you like this video, please do definitely leave me a like, leave me a subscribe, leave me a comment. Tell me what you do um, like and what you don't like, maybe. I don't know. Um, I wanted to say more, but here we go. We got them installed on the truck. Check out the right height. The trailing arms are uh, pretty much level with the ground, so pretty stoked about that. And it is a stiff suspension. So. Definitely stay tuned um, for the next speed run video. Got a bigger pinion on here. So definitely, uh, thanks for watching guys and have a great night. Talk to you later.